Welcome back to Dizzy Doom, y'all. That's that's the game's official title that Bethesda never really bothered to uh, bothered to give. Like it was in the game's code, like forward slash Dizzy Doom. Uh, I'm skeptical of that. <clears throat> well, you have your right to be skeptical, but it's the truth. It's the gosh darn truth. I'm gonna go this way. <clears throat> Cause fuck that guy. I saw on a. I think it was. Uh, did you know gaming? Yeah. About this game. Mm-hmm. That. Uh, go on. I'm working my way towards it. Interesting. <laughs> oh, girl. Wait, girl. We. Is the antagonist here again? Uh. I don't know. The one who looks like Tilda Swinton. Yeah. I learned from Did You Know Gaming that she actually is modeled after Tilda Swinton. Yep. So, I was right. That was pretty. That was just pretty cool to find out. So did everyone else who saw her at first glance. Yeah. I feel pretty... Because no one can... I feel pretty good about that. Because no one can mistake Tilda Swinton... Tilda Swinton's <clears throat> face. Even blind people. Blind people would just, like, have... Feel the aura of, like, Tilda Swinton's likeness. And be like, oh, that's Tilda Swinton. By the way, I'm playing because I was boss and it got the, got us through that last section like a boss. I can't remember. It's been a while since we recorded for this game. Well, like, well, we were well, we were recording and then uh, we got interrupted by a guest. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I had pretty much had to carry the whole episode by myself and then. I remember now. Yeah. Before we got guested, like we're actually in a, like a like a studio, and just someone just barged in here with their children. <laughs> yeah, that's how it works. Yeah, that is that's totally how it works. Like, we're actually millionaires, and we just do this for fun, just for shits and giggles. Yeah, I have four Lamborghinis, all parked on top of each other, and I haven't <laughs> even started driving them yet because I want to use up my Bentley first. <laughs> like, you don't even you don't even go out for gas. You just uh, whenever you just run out of gas, you just buy a new car. Yeah, I don't get oil changes or any of that shit. And do I donate them or nope? I just let them sit in the driveway. <laughs> oh, by the way, I got a I got an upgrade for the uh, for the uh, machine gun micro missiles. Do you think it's finally time to declare? What uh, declare what? It's work related. Uh, okay. Do you think it's time? I'm gonna see if you can get it. Uh, like officially put it in the books. What that we have gay sex with each other? No, <laughs> not that. Why does it always get to gay with you? No. What does it have to do with work? I don't know. Because I'm like, I'm I'm actually literally drawing a blank here. I have no idea what the fuck you're talking it's about. It's been many many years in the making. We're always wrong about the assumption. That, uh... Yeah, no. Don't think you can do it? Nope. I cannot do it. Do you think fat guy's dead? Oh, yeah. <laughs> for those of you who do not work, uh, for those of you who, uh... Have we just talked about it on the show before? Know. About fat guy? Well, for those of you who don't, who haven't seen it yet, which is very, very, very many of you, because... Because we don't have that many subscribers, and people just coming into this like eight years from now, when we when we've eclipsed PewDiePie and the subscribers, they may not know what we're talking about. <laughs> so there's this uh, guy who's very much out of shape called Fat Guy. Well, we call him Fat Guy because he's a fat guy. <laughs> yeah. And all and we just lost all the uh, body po all of our body positive subscribers. Yeah, that's what we're here to do. Just lose subscribers. Anyways, he always looks like he's on like the brink of just being done. Yeah, he's. He looks like uh, like he's he always comes in here with a cane. Like he takes like five minutes to get from the entrance to the uh, concession stand, and he's always out of breath by the time he gets there. And every time we assume that he's dead, like, he just surprises us and just comes back alive, somehow. So now that, I mean, we haven't mentioned it in a while, so now that we mentioned it, I wonder if he'll show back up again. And we just confirmed ourselves as the most horrible people alive. <laughs> I don't, I mean, I don't actually want him to be dead. It's just 
sick humor, I guess. Yeah. Damn it, I killed him. And we did, and I did it. I'm, I'm just continuing to be doomed. See, it didn't even need that power up. Wonder if my skills for this would be increased because of how good at Overwatch I'm getting. Probably. I mean, it has like the same fundamental mechanics. It doesn't go on that like Call of Duty type of uh, style. Cause I'm fucking, I'm fucking shit up in Overwatch. Like I'm getting pretty ga damn good. Yeah. I wish we had two capture cards and two computers. That way we'd do like some sort of Overwatch thing. Oh, we can make it sharp. every Wednesday. Overwatch Wednesday. <laughs> that could be. That could be a thing someday. Perhaps. But we need to. We need to actually equip the PewDiePie and subscribers before we actually do that. To be honest, for this channel, if we reached like ten thousand, I'd be pretty happy. Okay. Yeah. But then, like, the, the, um, but then the thirst for power would consume you. It was like, we gotta get more. We gotta get more. I would hope not. I would, if, if it was 10k on here, I would be, I'd be happy about that. It'd be like Schindler's List, but reverse. Like, you'd want all of the subscribers to yourself. Like, I could get more. We could get more. I don't know. Do you think that would be a pretty cool accomplishment, 10k? Yeah. I think it would be. It would be. But... A true Let's Player is never satisfied with the amount of subscribers he has. Where the goddamn am I supposed to go? Uh, oh shit, map. Okay. Let's see. What's the objective? Go to the Advanced Research Complex. Alright. Alright. Uh, Durr. Ugh. You must be tired. Tad bit. I've been up since five. I slept for 16 hours yesterday. That's a lot of hours. I can't do, I can't pull that off. Like, I don't know. What, like, I was working, and then I got home. I ate, then I got home, uh, took a bath. Then uh, I thought I'd take an hour nap, and then my body just shut down. Just like, you know what? Goodbye. Just ain't doing that shit. Entering rest mode. Entering rest mode. Uh... Uh, the, the compass, the compass is fucking up. Am I supposed to get on this thing? No. I don't think so. What am I doing? Oh, yeah, turn around. Where's the objective? Over there. But all I see is death. Uh, it might be below. If I die because of this, you're grounded. You can't ground me. You're not my dad. What if I am You're your dad? You're not my real dad. <laughs> uh, Barry, throw in some sort of... Oh, I think I'm supposed to go in that station there. So yeah, I think I am supposed to have to go go back inside. <clears throat> like Barry, throw in the, that... Throw in like three seconds of that, of that saw twist music at the end after I said, What if I am your dad? Hopefully that won't get us copywritten. But if it does, then... You're grounded, Aaron. I don't have anything to do with it. Yeah, you are. You fuck ass. You you always have everything to do with everything. You have everything to do with everything. Good one. <laughs> that's, Good one. You're. That's just... that, uh, that's gay. <laughs> Good one. Good one. It's, it's, it's sleepy face gaming again. Even though we're broadcast. Even though we're doing this in the morning. Yeah, sometimes I don't get good sleep, but you found the next area to be in. Yep. You made it. Because I am Doom. You are Doom, but it had nothing to do with the game. Yep. And when you come around, people are like, oh, there's Doom. Mm. It's because you're generally ah, cynical. Ah, shit, shit! Yeah. Doom fist to the face. He's hard to control. Fuck! Yeah, I'm not good with Doom Fist on the Overwatches. Yeah, like, he's very combo based, so. Uh. Farah is main. Farah is bay. Tracer is bay. Tracer is baser. But also gayser. Alright. Bam. Neat. Hell on Mars. Continue. 
I am Doom. I did that whole level by myself, or that whole thing. That whole quarter of a level. Portion. I don't know. Portion. <laughs> you did, though. Maybe that, maybe that Overwatch, it, maybe Overwatch is making us better. Because we have to go against real people. Yeah, Overwatch is... The fuck is this? <laughs> Cinemark. Aaron's looking at uh, a game token that I have. That's got to be old as shit. Uh, yeah, I haven't played games there in a while. Do they still do these coins? Yeah, they do that instead of quarters over at the arcade there. Whoa. Whoa, dude. Whoa, bro. You blew my goddamn mind. God damn. Hot damn. That, pro uh, that microphone probably caught the uh, that, that coin falling. Hopefully. That'd be neat. Yeah, that's good. It's more visceral that way. Yeah. It's, it's like y'all are here. A brighter tomorrow. Over on Mars, where nothing can grow. Unless you're Matt Damon. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, where he had to grow potatoes with his own shit. <clears throat> Including voice com. It's time for a story it's that we don't know about. We meet in person. My office is on the second floor. And then I'm gonna blow your robotic brains out. I woke up this out. morning. Why was there a horse in the living room? It was just—it was just standing there, being a horse. Because my car broke down, and since being the millionaires that we are, like I just bought someone's horse that they were riding, because people still ride horses here. And then I just told them to do the horse jump onto the balcony, and I told them, "Hey, it was raining at the time." And then I told him, like, you can't be out here in the rain, horse. You'll get the horse flu. So I just told him to come to the living room, and here he was, just being a good horsey. But he shit everywhere. I don't care about that. You just clean it up. I don't want... I shouldn't have to clean up your horse's shit. Didn't it say that in the in the lease agreement that, that you're supposed... That you, you specifically, which is weird because it's addressed your name specifically... That you're supposed to clean up horse shit no matter, like, whose horse it is. Um, actually, what the real Lee said, th there's definitely a maximum weight and size of an animal we can have in this apartment. And I'm pretty sure that a horse crosses that threshold. Well, they don't have to, they don't have to know about that. Are you gonna rat us out and get us kicked out of the apartment? I'm gonna, I want that horse out of here. Nuh-uh, like, Horsey McHorserson's my, my friend now. But he shits mountains. It's and, ridiculous. And you're gonna have to clean it up. It's part of the contract. There's no contract. Get that horse out of here. No. It belongs outside. No. Anyways. Horsey, don't go. On the next episode of Goatface Gaming, we're gonna continue having this horse debate.